Grape is a major and popular fruit of our country. Coloured seedless grapes attracted the consumers in a better way in recent years. Farmers are also reaping handsome profit due to modern crop management practices. Grape wine is popular in Western countries. But in India, a major portion of grape is consumed as fresh fruit. A small portion of it is utilized for raisin production. Hence, we find grape varieties suitable for table purpose in most of the grape cultivation areas of India. Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Punjab and Tamil Nadu states contribute 90% to the grape production of the country. Uttar Pradesh and Haryana do have some area under grape cultivation. Grape originates from Black Sea region below Russia. Available document say that this fruit was introduced to India in 1380. Mohammed bin Tughlaq brought this crop to South India in the 14th century. We get higher yield per unit area than any other country in the world. The average yield in South India is 10 to 14 tons per acre. India stands second after the USA in total grape production. But our share in the world trade is negligible. We have a benefit of climate to get good crop for an extended period in a season by adjusting pruning dates. Hence, there is a lot of scope for export-oriented grape cultivation. Grape prefers dry climate, temperature ranging from 15 to 40 degrees centigrade and rainfall of 500 to 800 mm is suitable for this crop. Rainy season should not coincide with fresh growth after pruning and ripening bunches. Cloudy climate, high relative humidity, very low temperature and fog are not good at the time of flowering and fruit development. Otherwise, the fungal diseases cause a major damage to the crop. Sandy loam soil is best suited for grape. Very shallow soil and rock layer below the topsoil is not good. Soil pH of 6 to 7.5 is preferred. Grape does not come up well in saline soils. However, grafting on rootstocks like dog ridge will produce good crop even with high salt content in the soil. Even though there are hundreds of varieties in grape, Thompson Seedless occupies a majority of grape gardens in our country. This variety is good both for table purpose and recent production. The mutant varieties of Thompson Seedless like Tash A. Ganesh, Sonaka, Manik Chaman etc. are seen in sizable area. Vigorous vine growth, medium-sized bunches, closely spaced berries etc. are the characteristics of Thompson Seedless variety. Fruit pulp is firm and very sweet. TSS is around 22 degree bricks. Sonaka variety is a selection from Thompson seedless and has elongated berries. It responds well to GA3 treatment for elongation. It gives good crop in tropical and mild tropical regions. But Thompson seedless remains green even after ripening and fails to attract consumers in mild tropical regions like Bangalore. Colored seedless variety called Sharad seedless is becoming very popular in recent years. This is an introduction from Russia. The berries are in black color like this and the pulp is firm. It is very sweet and TSS is around 22 degree bricks. Sharad seedless responds well to GA3 application for elongation. This is a selection from Sharad seedless called Jumbo Sharad. This variety with big berries is getting popularity in Maharashtra. This variety is Krishna Sharat, a mutant of Sharat seedless. It has attractive elongated berries and bunches. Farmers prefer this variety in recent years. This is Flame Seedless, a grape hybrid from USA. This adapts very well to high temperature areas and ripens early compared to Thompson seedless. Wine with vigorous growth gives high yield. Round berries in medium-sized bunches will have light red color. Firm pulp is very sweet 
and has a pleasant flavor. All these colored seedless grapes are good for table purpose, but not for raisin production. This variety is red globe, bigger and solid berries, big bunches, an attractive red color are the characteristics of this variety. But this is a seeded variety. A few farmers around Bangalore are growing this red globe variety. This sells mostly in supermarkets at high price. However, farmers are facing marketing problems to some extent for this variety.